Hi guys, Annette Evans with On Her Own, back again with yet more knife content. It's the best thing about knives, you can talk about them forever, there's always something. Today I want to talk to you about a really popular variant called a punch dagger. And punch daggers is essentially the kind of blade that you put inside your fist and something sharp and pointy comes out of the front and you punch somebody with it, or that's the idea. Punch daggers can be really, really useful, and one of the reasons I love them is that if you don't know how to punch somebody very well, a well-constructed, well-designed punch dagger is going to protect you from some of the mistakes that you'll make when you're punching somebody. It is, in fact, a force multiplier, so if you can't punch very hard, it's okay, the blade is gonna do a lot of the work. If you don't know how to make a fist correctly, the punch dagger is gonna kind of force you to do things like wrap your thumb outside of your fingers. These are good things. And a properly designed punch dagger is going to help you punch correctly with the right part, with the right alignment of your wrist to your knuckles and all of that. The problem is just like everything else in the world, in the self-defense world especially, not everybody designs punch daggers correctly. So this is a Shiverx El Nino. It's one that I really, really like because it epitomizes a lot of the good things that you put in punch daggers. One of them is it's got a nice solid handle that's going to fill your fist so it's not bouncing around inside your fist when you actually impact something with a blade. It has a generous but not too generous neck so that when my fingers are wrapped around it, I don't have this giant spike sticking out that can bend and cause impact as it slides around with my hand. And the other thing that you'll notice is that the blade comes out between my first and second finger, which is how I get the good alignment for the punch. What you'll see a lot of times are punch daggers that are designed or people using punch daggers, sticking them between the middle and ring finger because that feels very natural. It's the center of the hand. But you can see why that might be problematic because my arm is here, my wrist is bent, and you're gonna do this sort of thing, which is uncomfortable, it's inefficient for doing a lot of damage, which is what you need to do with a punch dagger. And it's going to be very, very uncomfortable for you from a impact perspective because the, the force of the strike is going to do funny things as it comes down the arm instead of what it's supposed to do, which is a straight line. So punch daggers, they can be fantastic, but be very careful with how you pick them and how you use them. Annette Evans on her own.life, in range TV. We're gonna be back with more.